A suspected armed robber is dead tonight, and police say two gun-carrying customers at a gas station fired the shots that took him down. We first told you about this with a push alert earlier tonight, and since then, our Alan Carter's been at the get-go convenience store where this happened on the east side. He spoke with some people who think the customers who fired those shots did the right thing. And the call came in just after 6 o'clock as a robbery in progress with an armed man walking inside this convenience store, but he likely did not expect being met with armed customers. It's crazy. It's a multitude of feelings in a neighborhood of people fed up with crime. It is a sad situation, you know, but it's just like, you know, they need to stop doing this and stop robbing and go get a job. Happy to see a robbery stopped, still devastated. It had to end this way. But like I said, anytime someone loses their life, it's a tragedy. And that's somebody's father or brother or son or grandson. So that's sad. But how they say in the Bible, live by the sword, die by the sword, it's, I mean, it's simple. Police say the would-be robber shot by two armed customers in the store. He entered the store, and uh, my understanding, he displayed a uh, weapon. Um, the customers at the time uh, discharged their weapon and uh, he was shot. He was transported to the hospital at first, but later pronounced dead. No one else in the store was hurt, as a number of people expressed this as a matter of swift justice. I, if I was a gun carrier, I'd probably do the same thing. So, you know, they have to protect themselves. So, you know, if they got a permit to carry, that's what it's for. When you go out robbing, karma somehow intervenes, you get what you get. You know, either somebody's going to resist you robbing them or you're going to rob and hurt somebody. In this case, they caught the short end. And at this time, the name of a suspect killed has not been released. Prosecutors and investigators will review the case and possibly any video of the incident to decide if any charges are warranted. Reporting in Indianapolis, Ellen Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.